Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another stock analysis video brought to you by pennystockanalysis.com. The analysis of the day is for Skybridge Technologies Group, trading symbol SKGO, currently trading on the Pink Sheet Exchange. Welcome to the Skybridge Technology Group website, skybridgetechgroup.com. It's a great place to learn more about them and we definitely encourage that you do. As you can see, the main subsidiary of the company is called Shot in the Gas, and their specialty is creating fuel additives to improve the efficiency of gas-powered vehicles. And given the large price run-up in fuel and energy costs in the last two years, and the price of a barrel of oil well north of $100, this is surely to be a space with great near-term and medium-term growth prospects. Browse through their website, skybridgetechgroup.com, to learn more about them. Moving along into our stock analysis, what we have here is a chart for the last six months of trading for SKGO. Here are a couple of things you should notice from the top chart that tracks the daily price of Skybridge Technology Group. You'll notice that there is a strong floor level resistance at 0005 that has been touched but never breached eight times in the last five months. And those are denoted by the seven arrows that have been uh, placed on the screen at 0005 and you will also notice on the screen that there are three arrows that clearly outline the top of the trading band which is 0008 which has been touched three times in the last six months. These consistent trades between 0005 and 0008 is called the channel or trading range. What you will also notice at the bottom of the daily price chart is that there is a volume chart and as we can clearly see there has been a lot of recent strength in the stock price and the associated volume. In the rise from 0005 to 0008 the stock has traded north of 100 million and 300 million shares per day with more strong volume today trading north of about 40 million shares. Strong volume is like a good foundation for a house and shows investors support the price, news, and direction of the company. Our second chart here, again, shows the price chart at the top, but this time with a 50-day moving average, which we can clearly see shows a strong trend line across 0006, which is in the middle of the trading range and which has recently been broken with the latest news and heavy volume. That is clearly a good sign. And what you will notice is that those green ovals clearly outline where there has been a bounce or strength in the stock price to uh, remain at or above that level. Moving on to the lower chart, this is called the relative strength index. Generally speaking, when the chart reaches above 80, there is some pullback in the stock. And when it is at 20 or under, it is typically considered oversold and in other words a time to uh, buy the stock with relatively low risk. The interesting pattern occurs in March when the RSI touches 20 which is clearly outlined by the green line and then slowly begins to rise step by step to 50 to just under 60 to just over 60 and then reaches 70. This happens despite the trading between the range of 0005 and 0006. What happened is it just took some time before the gaining momentum showed itself in the stock price. Moving on to our third chart of the day, we again see the daily price tracking on the top half of the chart, and this time on the bottom we see a MACD. To talk about the top chart, what we see are Bollinger Bands. They may be new to you, but it's based on a simple and uh, relatively easy to understand uh, basis. Essentially, what the Bollinger Bands do is act like a bottleneck. And as you can see by the highlighted green arrows starting on the left, that the arrows show a very tight band. And then what that means is that it's ready to explode, whether it's a price moving up or down basically like the pressure of a bottle being released. And then the arrows moving right slowly show how the band widens as the price uh, moves up strongly. 
And then what we have uh, more recent, uh, instead of February, is in April. Again, we have a narrowing of the bands and then an expansion of the bands, which is just taken place with the help of more volume, more news, and a built up of the uh, relative strength index. And as you can see, it clearly made for a strong upward movement in the price. Moving on to the bottom chart, the MACD, and without getting into too much technical detail, there are a couple of uh, points that you should be able to extract from this chart. And what I've done is put on a yellow line, which is the zero line. It's uh, better to be above the line than below the line. Above the line is a very bullish sign, below the line is a very bearish sign. So what we can see, and along the same lines as the relative strength index, which was shown previously, is that in the middle of March, the uh, relative strength index continued to gain strength, and the same movement happens here in the MACD. What we have here is that the trend lines, they are blue and red, leveled out at the first green arrow, and then slowly started to gain strength into April and to this current day, and have in fact crossed above the yellow line, which is a very bullish signal, and so we should continue to see uh, good things from the stock moving forward. As we can see, overall, there are a number of forces uh, at work here with FKGO, and they are all working together at the same time. We have a gathering and building of momentum, we have a lot of strong, strong news coming out, and there is a, a volume, a foundation to uh, support uh, the stock, the stock price, and a continued upward movement uh, going forward. And uh, given the stock analysis today, I think it's safe to say that uh, we expect a continued uh, favorable conditions uh, for SkyBridge Technology Group.